face off, and here we go. Knocked off the puck. Lindgren's got it in the defensive end. Puck picked up by Roslevic. Looking to set up offensively. Locks the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Takes the feed. Here's a short pass to Roslevic. There's a three club save by Lyon. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Lots of time left in this period. The game is still scoreless. The Rangers take possession off the faceoff. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. With possession along the wall. How did he stop that one? There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Zabinijad's got soft hands that can corral a bouncing puck on that first touch, guys. His magnetic zone ability lets him settle it down and keep the play alive. The Rangers win the draw here in their own end. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. Here's a chance. Stops that one. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Panarin's great at finding his teammates with passes nobody expects him to make, guys. His third eye zone ability and his high hockey IQ allows him to make plays that nobody sees coming. Picked up along the wall by Truba. Takes the puck at the point. Moves it quickly over to Miller. The Red Wings scoop it up along the boards. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Slides the puck across to Raymond. Poked away at center by the Frenier. The Rangers take possession in the neutral zone. Here we go. Pucks in deep. Quick pass to Rasmussen. And now he moves it to Raymond. Sets it out in front. I love this snapshot from in tight, James, that beats the goaltender. But how about the will to get to those tough areas? I mean, that's what it's all about. You can have the skill, but you got to have the will. Detroit's come to play. Look at that. A quick goal here just minutes in. Well, it's all about getting the start that you want, James. And that doesn't always mean a goal. It means being heavy in on the forecheck, establishing pressure, capitalizing on their opportunity. That's a bonus, and they do it early in the frame. No, you're not going to get away with that one right in front of the official delayed penalty coming up. It's a trip, and it looks like. Whoever has a role in this PK unit knows that they not only have to kill this penalty off and keep the game within reach, but maybe they can be opportunistic and pounce on a loose puck for an opportunity. The Red Wings will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. First power play opportunity of the game. You know they've worked on this in practice to set up the look that they want. Scores! And they capitalize with the extra player on the ice, and it's a power play goal. While using the advantage of having extra ice available to them, James, that's why their most skilled players are on the ice. That one's executed to perfection. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Detroit's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Sabinijad's won the draw at center. Quick feed to Kreider. Knocked away. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Comfers into the offensive zone now on the attack. The Rangers gain control of the puck. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Can't keep a hold of it. The Red Wings have it from their own end. Moves it to Raymond. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll be forced to tag up. The Red Wings played along the boards. The Rangers take possession in the defensive end. And oh, off the crossbar. What a chance on the play. Detroit's lead will not change. Sometimes you do all the hard work to get to the right spots on the ice, but you don't have any puck luck, and that was evident there as it hit the post and out. The Red Wings played along the wing. Great defensive effort with the stick. 
into the offensive zone down the right wing. The Red Wings have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Great reach with the stick by Cooley. Grabbed in the open ice by Schneider. Fires it on net. Turns that one away. Here's a chance. Turns another aside. I'm not sure if anyone's helping him out there, but he's dialed in and doing it all himself, making consecutive saves. Still lots of time left here in this frame. The Red Wings lead this one to zip. The Rangers take possession here inside the offensive zone. And that goes off a player. And there's the save. Lions to elect to just hang on for a whistle. Well, he hasn't been busy, James, and I like that he landed on this when he's physically engaging, keeping himself in it. Both teams readying here for the faceoff. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Came up with the save on that play. Well, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. More than half the frame has been played here. Detroit's got some breathing room as they lead it 2-0. And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers scrummed up. And he slides it quickly to Fox. The Rangers will play it in their own end. Trocek's got the puck. Off the glove. The Red Wings get a hold of the puck in their own end. New York's got the puck. Moves it over to Petrie. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. Great reach with the poke check. The Red Wings gain possession. Angles it over to Mata. Makes the save. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Offense his own face off and he wins the draw. Sends a pass over. Puck scooped up by Debrinkit. Denied that one. And that's blocked away. Let's get the call. The Red Wings have been handed a two-minute penalty for tripping. And their first chance to use the man advantage. An opportunity on their first power play of the game, James. And this is an opportunity to look at the coverage as well. See how they're playing it, whether they're going to be aggressive or sit back. Looking to break out here on the power play. And he takes the feed. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Detroit's got a hold of the puck. And a successful clearing attempt. Slick feed. Here's a short pass to Lafreniere. Taken along the wall by Winberg. And that's intercepted by Sider. Detroit's been disrupting play all night long. And this is because of their stick position. You have to find ways to be aware and anticipate where that puck is going to be going. Doing a great job, but this is still a close one. They've got to find a way to generate some offense. Scooped up along the wall by Winberg. Moves into the slot. That's gloved by Lyon. In front, and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Trocek's at the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. Detroit's got the win off that draw. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. Grabbed along the board by Trocek. Oh, there it is! The power play goal! What I really love about this power play is it isn't predictable, which means the PK doesn't know where that puck is going. That's how you manipulate it. That's how you open up lanes. And this shot comes from the mid lane or the interior of the ice, and it's buried. New York's got to be feeling good after getting that one, Cheryl. Well, they're certainly feeling good about themselves now, James. The body language has changed. They're on their toes. The confidence is lifted. Some much-needed offense to get them within one. Pokes the puck away. Moves it quickly over to Rasmussen. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. Quick pass to Fox. Sabinejad's got it in the offensive zone. Moves it to the middle. And that's 
gets intercepted. Drills him. New York's got the puck now. The Rangers work it through center. Fires it. Makes the club stop. Here in the later stages of this period, New York's shown a new energy over these last few minutes. They got one back, but they still need one more in order to tie. Takes the pass. The Red Wings gain the zone. Sends it in on the attack. A little crashing and banging forces the turnover. And he slides it quickly to Panarin. He carries the puck up along the wing. Gets the puck in deep. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Nice hit on the play there. Center into the middle. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. The Rangers have it against the wall. Inside the final minute of the first here. The Rangers will play it through the neutral zone. Puts it in deep. The Red Wings break out of their own end with one last chance. Quick feed to Larkin. New York's got the puck. Slides it to Panarin. Hey, a lot of people excited as this opening period comes to an end. One of the all-time great rock acts from the 80s getting set to play here for these fans. And we'll catch our breath. Back with more in a moment. Now's your chance to play green. Drop your plastic cups, bottles, and green paper rocks. The middle stanza is about to go. The official's ready to drop the puck. And with the puck dropped, we are now underway in period number two. Well, Cheryl, already a third of this one played. What do you make of this one? Ryan's been fantastic in the game so far, James. I mean, he's the only reason his team is still in it. Oh, and he can't bury that one. Well, you don't get any opportunities like this in a game, James. You have to execute. He completely misses the net. My goodness, the pressure really building here in the offensive end. And they'll skate it out of the zone. Shot, and then it got cut up in traffic and goes off a stick. Picked up along the boards by Sherratt. Moves it. There's a collision along the boards. And there's a whistle from the officials as the pane of glass is cracked. Uh, remember back in the day, James, the thunderous hit, and all of a sudden the glass would explode or shatter? Well, not anymore, and that's a good thing. So there's not as much cleanup. They just have to replace the pane. We're still in the early stages of this period. The Red Wings are clinging to a 2-1 lead. Shot off target. A real skill to be accurate and have a heavy shot and right now it's just a heavy one that whistles wide great four check by Panarin New York's got the puck along the boards here's a short pass to Trocek stops him with the glove Lyon's gonna keep and hang on for the whistle and just slow it down a little bit here as a goaltender you always have to be mentally focused and ready to make a save James he hasn't been busy this period but they're in the lead so it's a safe play he elects to hold on New York's won the draw. Good check. Freeze the puck up. Now over to Raymond. Here they come on the attack. New York's got control of it now from their own end. Dishes it to Truba. Siders taking the puck now here inside his own territory. Detroit's got a hold of it against the wall. Feeds the puck to Rasmussen. Moves it quickly over to Miller. Tries to get it to Truba. Quick pass to Lafreniere. With the stop. Detroit's got it in their own zone. Right through center and into the offensive zone. Panarin's got the puck along the wing. Sends it in deep. Detroit's got a hold of the puck now. Quick feed to Kopp. The Red Wings have it now. Moves the puck. Oh, look at this chance. And he gets a piece of that one and denies it. Quicks made a great save, and even better is the redirect to the corner. The Rangers carry it along the wall. Takes the shot. Oh, club saved by Lyon.
We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. It's 2-1. Detroit's won the defensive zone draw. Quick pass across to Fabry. Here they come on the attack. Great heads up play in the defensive zone. Moves it to Wenberg. Takes that pass back at the point. Denied by the goaltender. Covers it up and will get a stoppage in play. Play ready to resume as everybody lines in for the faceoff. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And now it's grabbed by Fabry. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Feeds it on over to Roslevic. Puts it on net. That save and he makes it look easy. Goaltender covers up and will get a face off. The Rangers have time to work with, but they need to convert on one of these scoring chances as they are trailing here in the second. The Red Wings come up with the defensive zone draw. Slides it across to Wallman. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Here's an odd man rush. Roslovic's lugging the puck. Here's a short pass to Zabinishad. The Rangers slide it through center. And now he tries to get it across to Roslovic. Here's a shot. And he stakes that one with the club. Past the halfway mark of this period, the Red Wings lead it 2-1 in what has been an entertaining game thus far. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Unloads one! And he comes up with it. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Larkin. Gaining momentum up along the side. The Rangers gain control of the puck against the wall. Moves it quickly over to Sherratt. won the draw here in the defensive zone quick pass to VC. shot oh he just got enough of that one to keep it out what a fantastic save from a high danger scoring area James and I mean he's bailing his team out they have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice Detroit's got it along the wall too much congestion in front the Rangers have it now New York's looking to break out. Takes it from the right side. Detroit's got the puck inside the defensive zone. The Red Wings are across the line and into the offensive end. The Rangers can't control the puck. He's got a step. Oh, that just looked like it. Scores! And we are back to even. Yeah, tie game now, James. I really like the energy that they've showed throughout the game, but now it's about channeling the energy they've just created and doing something with it. Well, there's a ton of traffic in front, and you can see that he's fighting for position and to find the puck, and when he does, he throws out the windmill, James, and he can't catch up to the puck. Well past the midway mark of this period, we are all tied up in this one. Cops quick stick, lands with the puck here at center. The one penalty coming up here. Whistle stops the play. Kruba's getting a pair of the sin bin for boarding. Listen, a power play, you want to make sure that you're getting a high percentage shooting shot. And that's exactly what they did earlier on the 1-3-1 where they were able to capitalize. It's about opening up lanes, getting the coverage to move around, and then firing and executing when you have it. The Red Wings gain possession along the wall. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Sends it to the middle, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Coaches 
are constantly telling you on a power play that you need to take advantage. And the way that you do that is to take away the eyes of the goaltender. A ton of net front presence here. And that's the reason the seeing eye shot finds its way to the back of the net. The Red Wings pick up the all-important lead here as we inch closer and closer towards the second intermission. Well, anytime you score on the back half of a period, it certainly creates some much-needed momentum. Momentum that you want to carry forward to the intermission, and you can have a lengthy conversation about it and start the third with a bang. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Fox is looking to get things going for his squad, guys. If he can use his zone ability to create some scoring opportunities, that might be the spark that they need to get back in this game. Gets a hold of the puck. Across the line, down the left wall. And he shuts the ball on that. Oh, stopped it! What a save on the play! And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save incredible, James. On the attack, they come down the right wing. Here's a shot. The glove making it look easy on the play. Lyon's been dominant in the crease tonight. He's turned away a lot of high-danger shots, and he's really found a way to build some momentum for his team, give him a real opportunity to win. Here in the late goings of the period, Detroit's got the momentum with a one-goal lead. They'd love to add to that. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Quick feed to Kane. Big play inside the defensive zone. Tries to get the puck to Truba. And now he moves it quickly to Panarin. Detroit's looking to break out of their own end. The Red Wings will play it from the defensive zone. Nice zone entry on the left side. Tries to feed it over to Larkin. Puck knocked loose after that hit. New York's got it against the boards. He grabs the puck here at the point. And the poke check. Oh, smart play. Puck battle along the boards. And he feeds it down to Debrinkit. Looks to make a play over to Sider. And that'll bring an end to the second period of play. Let's get a clean sheet of ice and come back with the third period next. Don't forget, fans, if you're here with somebody celebrating a birthday tonight, go to our guest services booth, and they'll see their name up on our big screen before the end of the game.
are set. Officials are set. Third period action is coming up. All right, the puck is dropped on the third and final frame. Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now played. How do you view this one? New York's trailing in the game here in the third period, James, but it hasn't been for a lack of effort or not buying into the game plan. I feel like they've been urgent, they've been skating well, and of course they dominated possession time. It's just a matter of having it translate to offense on the scoreboard. Sends it over to Sabinashad. Picked off by Sherratt. Picked up along the wall by Sider. Bringing the physicality tonight. And tries to make a diagonal pass to all alone. Not sure what happened there. Well, yeah, it looks like he was going left, then he was going right, but his inability to convert because he ran out of room. From the point, looks to make something happen. And that carries off a stick. New York's got the puck in their own end. Great use of the stick at center by Zabinijad. Pinned up along the boards. New York's got the puck along the wall. Fox is taking it from his own end. And he takes the feed. The Red Wings get a hold of the puck in their own end. Dishes it to Sider. New York's gained possession. Working the puck deep inside their own end. New York's on the attack. The Red Wings have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Trocek's got the puck now in his own end. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Back at the point, they set it up. The Red Wings have it from their own end. Moves it to Rasmussen. New York's regained possession of the puck. Here they come on the attack down the left side. Rips it, and that's deflected off someone in front. New York's got possession of the puck. Fisher's got the puck in his own zone. Break away! Chase in front! And he comes up with a stop! The Rangers have the puck now. Sends the pass over. Kako's got it along the wing. Here's a chance! Oh, and that goes off his mask! I don't think he planned to stop it that way, but he keeps it out! Cooley's been a workhorse tonight, James, and there's just another example of it, and the entire bench knows that they're invigorated by it. I mean, he's on his way down, he's stumbling, and he manages to find the puck and get a shot on net. That's tenacity at its best. Nearing the midway mark of the period, Detroit's hanging on to this 3-2 lead. Strong's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Dumps it in. New York's got a hold of it along the wall. And he takes the dish. Winberg's got it along the boards. Fires it into the offensive zone. Here's a short pass to Gostaspair. Sent into the offensive zone. New York's got the puck in the defensive end. The Rangers take it across the line. Take it along the wall by Goodrow. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. They gain the zone from the left side. Shot! Stopped by the goaltender. This is the best part of the game. It's really tight. It's down the stretch. One mistake either way will be the difference maker. Moves it quickly over to Larkin. Here's a chance. Good stop by Quick. In front of the net, and the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Past the midway mark of the frame. Detroit's got a 3-2 lead at this point. The Rangers win the draw here in their own end. Moving into the attacking zone. Play is called for offside. Larkin's known for being able to skate at high speeds while carrying a puck. That's his wheel zone ability that allows him to be explosive and dangerous with the puck at those speeds. And guys, you got to watch out for him. When he gets the chance to fly, it's incredible. Let's see what he does here. Good use of the body to knock them off the puck. Takes the saucer pass. Quick pass to Larkin. The Red Wings move to the offensive zone. And he makes the save. Slides it diagonally to Kreider. Quick pass to Fox. Handles the pass. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. From center, they get into the attacking area. 
And that's a great hands up in the defensive zone to force the turnover. Keeps a hold of the puck after that knock. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And he takes the pass. Oh, how did he stop that? What a save by Quick. Denies him again. Feeds the puck across to Panarin. New York's in now. Tries to the paint. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Lyon. Well, he makes an incredible save on a point-blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive, he's competitive, and he wins the battle. Just here in the late stages of this frame, the Red Wings are giving their fans something to cheer about as they lead it 3-2. Larkins won it in their own end. Receives the pass. And now he passes it to Kane. And it's a quick pass to Mata. The Rangers have it against the wall. Kyle stick handling in his own zone. Moves it around along the half wall. Quick feed to Keppel. Oh, slick work with the glove by Lyon. This is a face off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. Comfers won the face off. Slides the pass over to Mata. Raymond's going to play it against the half wall. Oh, what a save! He stopped it! Wow! Oh, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. New York's got the puck against the boards. Moves it to Cooley. Raymond's moving the puck through his own zone. Across the line and on the attack. Here's a short pass to Mata. Hammers one. Oh, what a great save this time. And that's back to back goals. Well, nothing like right. switching the mention and putting your opponent on their heels and getting two in a row. Back to back. Here they come. The Red Wings have been a lot of fun to watch tonight. Lots of offensive scoring chances, and they have capitalized late here in this third. Sabinejad's won the draw at center. Under a minute to go in the third. Detroit's got it in their own zone. New York's emptied the net. The extra attacker's now out on the ice. Oh, it goes off the club, and he keeps it out. Oh, it stops him again. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. A critical face-off looms here. And the extra attacker is on the ice, James. So much pressure on the center to win this draw. The Rangers will go to work here in the offensive zone. Stars! And look at this! Here we go! They have answered back. Well, they've responded exactly the way the coach and team wanted. To be able to get back on the board, get momentum back in your favor. It's key guys that contribute and have an impact. This is why face-offs are so critical. Your opponent is now chasing, and you're opening up lanes, and he does a great job of getting available for the win to be able to get that puck back, and he finds the back of the net. Good hit to knock the puck loose. Pushes it across to Trocek. Pass stolen in the open ice. Quicks made his way quickly to the bench, and the extra attacker is now out on the ice. And into the open cage, it's an empty net to get the empty net goal. Everyone can take a deep breath here as that should do it. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. The Rangers win the faceoff. Quick shot! And there's the final horn. Putting the ball on this one here this evening. The Red Wings filled the net often in the first, but they just really kind of played back and defended the rest of the way. Yeah, it's a bit of a gamble when you sit back on your heels a little bit too much.
which can certainly go the other way, but it didn't for them tonight. They were able to close it up and just find a way to win. What a game, what an atmosphere, and they're not done just yet. Here they come back out onto the ice. Oh, listen to it in here. I mean, it's electric. They just love what they saw on the ice, and they're getting a salute, a thank you, which has gone down as tradition for this team to be able to say, hey, fans, you've been there all the way. Well, a 